So just moments before we went to air tonight, a plane apparently crashed at a General Mills plant, a food plant in Covington, Georgia. Six tractor trailers were reportedly on fire. You're seeing pictures from the scene right now. This is the second time in a week that something like this has happened. On April 14th, the plane crashed into the Gem State Processing in East Idaho. What's going on here? Well, the story gets weirder. Food processing plants all over the country seem to be catching fire. A couple of days ago, a fire destroyed the headquarters of Azure Standard, one of the largest organic food distributors in the country. At the end of last month, a fire severely damaged a fresh onion packing facility in South Texas. In Oregon, a potato chip processing plant to support a boiler explosion that sent workers to the hospital. Here's a news report on that. Eastern Oregon, where crews are battling a major fire at a potato chip processing plant. Air 12 flew over the scene at Shearer's Foods on Highway 207 in Hermiston. We're told the fire was caused by an explosion of a portable boiler there. Two people were taken to the hospital. So industrial accidents happen, of course, but this is a lot of industrial accidents at food processing facilities at the same time the president's warning us about food shortages. They're getting hit by planes and catching fire. What is going on here exactly? Jason Rance hosts a radio show in Seattle and joins us to put it into perspective. Jason, good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, obviously, when something happens every so often, you obviously hope that there's no significant damage and certainly no one gets hurt, but you kind of write it off. It's not that big of a deal. Accidents happen. But when you've got well over a dozen food processing plants and warehouses getting destroyed or seriously damaged over just the last few weeks at a time when the food supply is already vulnerable, it's obviously suspicious and it could lead to serious food shortages. That's why some folks are now wondering, well, number one, what's going on? And you've got some people speculating that this might be an intentional way to disrupt the food supply. Wait, so may I ask you to pause there really quick? Can I just ask you, I just want to nail this down so our, our viewers understand. There have been confirmed over a dozen disabling accidents at food plants in the last month, over a dozen. Absolutely. And we're talking about some really significant plants. The Taylor Farms facility in Salinas, California, was completely destroyed by a fire last week. We've had two major potato processing plants in Belfast, Maine and Warden, Washington, that were completely gutted, which is happening at a time where we already have a potato shortage globally. You were talking about the onion supply at that Rio Fresh. But it's not just produce plants. Last month, there was a fire that took out a Nestle flu uh, food plant out in Jonesboro, Arkansas. Arkansas, and that's impacting frozen food brands like Hot Pockets or Stouffer's, which maybe you might buy if you can't get fresh food from a warehouse that just exploded. And that Shearer's food facility you just mentioned in the open, I mean, that's the only West Coast facility that they operate. So there is some significant concern, of course, that this is going to impact the supply chain. Now, to be clear, the timing is very suspicious. It's obviously concerning. Police are saying that these fires are due to faulty issues with equipment, so they're not saying that this was intentional. Either way, it's obviously going to have some significant you know, implications in us getting our food. Yeah. I mean, an hour ago, a plane crashed into a General Mills facility. We'd already planned this segment. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. The onus is on people who think that's a conspiracy theory to explain what is going on. What are the odds of that? I have no idea. Jason Rance, I appreciate your report tonight. We will follow up. Thanks, Tucker.